You know, some of you have been writing to me on and off about various questions about uh, violin holding positions. And I just thought that maybe today I will discuss with you bow grip. And uh, bow grip is very, very important because it helps you produce a good sound. So, first of all, let's start with something very, very simple. The bow grip that I use is a Franco-Belgian bow grip. When you talk about the index finger, the stick of the bow should be between this joint right here, this uh, part of your uh, index finger and that part. So right smack in the middle. That's very, very important. You don't want it to be here because the minute it's here, it's already a different grip. It's called the, the Russian grip, which is actually, which looks like this. My grip looks like that. Now make sure that there is nice space between all the fingers. Make sure that your index, that your pinky finger is nicely resting at the, at the, at the bow and that the second finger and the thumb are facing each other like that. So that's what you want. That's how you, you do it. And that is really the, uh, the kind of grip that, that you want. That's a Franco-Belgian grip. So that if you go like that, it helps with producing a nice, healthy sound. Now, the other thing that is very, very important is to make sure that your wrist doesn't operate as though it has a cast on it. The wrist should be flexible. Just a little, just a little. It doesn't have to be very loose like that, but it's got to be flexible because I always say to my students, the wrist is, there is a joint in the wrist. If there was no joint in the wrist, then we could play very stiffly. But since the wrist has some sort of a joint there, you want to make sure that you use it properly and that there is flexibility there. And that's what helps you produce a very, very good sound. So to practice with this grip, I think what you should do is you should just play scales. Very simple. You know, just pra practice the scales and make sure that you get a very nice sound. What you want to make sure is that the bow is between the bridge and the fingerboard, sort of kind of in the middle. That's what we call the point of contact. You want to make sure that that point of contact feels comfortable. If you hear a scratch, it could be that you're probably too close to the bridge. If you hear something, if you, if you feel that there is not enough power, that means you're probably too close to the fingerboard. So you want to make sure that you're not too close to the bridge, not too close to the fingerboard. Someplace in the middle. So anyway, I hope this is a little bit helpful and uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.